At the exact same time, uh, over in San Francisco, the 49ers will be hosting the Seattle Seahawks, and that line sits at the 49ers as a three-point favorite. Of course, they lost in the most heartbreaking fashion on Sunday night against the Packers, scored a touchdown with 40-something seconds left to go up by one, and Aaron Rodgers drove right back down the field and kicked a field goal with no time left on the clock and celebrated and had a good time and all that good stuff. 49ers now have to come back home against the Seahawks, and this is always a, a close ball game for whatever reason. Uh, I like the Seahawks here. I know that their offensive line is going to have problems with the 49ers defensive line because the Seattle offensive line has problems with everybody. They just do. However, that 49ers secondary has some issues. This is Seattle in, in wounded animal mode. I feel like this is one where they can actually get back right. I'm going to take Seattle. I think they got a chance to win this ball game. So you give me three points, I will absolutely take it. Give me Seattle plus three. Yeah, this is the one I have the most trouble with, and and I've gone back and forth. At the end of the day, I'm just I'm going to try to pick the winner, and I think the I think I'm going to just go with the home team. I think this is a coin flip game. I think both these teams are the same. I really do. If this game was in Seattle, I would take Seattle. If the game was in 49ers, I take 49ers. I just, I think they're identical. I think they're incredibly flawed. I think they have a couple of good things going for them. But for some reason, they always seem to find themselves in weird-ass games. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm absolutely with you there. These two teams, by the way, 5-5 five and five against the spread against each other over the last 10 meetings. And whoever the home team is typically finds a way to cover. And that would be San Francisco in this spot. But, you know, uh, <laughs> you can never tell with this. At least going, at least going back a little ways, the home team tends to, tends to cover. You know what? I take that back. I'm looking at this wrong. It actually makes no difference because they've swapped it up year in and year out. So I was looking at it wrong. No, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who the home team is. These two teams, for whatever reason, pay, uh, they play tight ball games last year was a 10-point game in November, and in January it was a 3-point game, a 5-point game in December 2019, a 3-point game, a 3-point game, a whipping by Seattle in 2018, and, I mean, just a bunch of 3-point games here. So this feels like a 3-point game. Either way, I'll I'll take the head start. Give me Seattle plus 3. So which, which direction are you going? I'm going to go the 49ers. Going 49ers, going with the home team. All right, going head-to-head again. I can get with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.